Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Long Dark, and to my Naked and Afraid series. So, I did a bit of chores off, uh, off camera. Uh, mainly because I didn't want to have you all sit through me, taking forever to get all the meat over there. So, I've brought it all back, and I've uh, harvested it all up, and uh, I kind of got a bunch of piles. So, this one is at 73%. And uh, we go down 62, going 70, uh, 61, and 61. So they deteriorated really quickly uh, in the bag uh, from the quartering time. So this is a downside, I think, of quartering is like even you know, only 12 hours of you know sitting around, and they. Um, they uh, dropped, you know, up to 40% nearly. Um, but you know, that's okay. So, we actually haven't, we're actually out completely of the, um, the cooked stuff now. Uh, it also looks like the uh, wolf carcasses have disappeared. Wait. So, I'm, I'm guessing... I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. Yeah, I'm guessing that means the wolves will respawn in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a good moose hunt. So it's early in the morning. Um, freezing cold out there, probably. Um, actually, it's light enough to see in here. So where some of the guts is, oh, some of it's, yes, three quarters of the way there. So three quarters out of five days is probably another day and a bit. And some of the deer hides are starting to get there, so we should be able to craft those soon. And the, the birch is coming along. Um, so yeah, like a couple of days. So we've um, survived for 57 days. So where did we actually... Hunting Lodge. Oh yeah. So some of those we grabbed on the first day. So it's getting there, but obviously the, um, the moose hide will take 10 days, not 12 days, or maybe that's the bear that's 12 days, so 10 days for that, and oh, we're nearly, nearly two of those 10 days. Um, so we did some more indoor lumberjacking, there's a cured rabbit pelt, no cured guts to do repairs with, um, I chucked a whole bunch of things down on the ground to be light I think, so maybe I should pick some of those up because I'll never find them in the dark. This is a really really dark building. Um, I swear there should be one other piece of guts here somewhere. But I will never be able to see it without lighting a torch and I've been trying to avoid that to be honest. Table, 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 chair. Unless I dropped it somewhere really ridiculous. I had thought it was right about here. Oh well. No point staring around at that. So I need to do something to warm up a little bit. Um, can't do any repairs. So yeah, ironically, I uh, I did all that stuff off camera because I didn't want to bore everybody. Uh, but at least it would have been something to do. Uh, I think I keep making that mistake a little bit. It's like, oh, I want to do mundane chores in front of everybody. But then you do them, and then you have to stand around in the dark, being dull. Um, I don't know if we can go chop something up though. There's cardboard boxes on everything, but nothing else. So two hours for a shelf, 487 calories. So. I mean, it'd be good to do a cook-up, but I'd rather almost do some cooking outside, but I suppose I could cook in here. Uh, yeah, six burners. Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then what we can do is run around outside while it's cooking for different periods of time. Maybe we do it that way. Let's get a mega cook on the go. Oh, there's a, we could have been reading some of that book. I forgot that book was there. I'll pick that up in a second. 
<laughs> much of my off-camera stuff, uh, funnily enough, I found a container in the dark whilst running around with just my, um, with, uh, just my bedroll. It was this one. There we go. Um, and there was some stuff in it. Oh, there we go. It was a sweater. Um, but I hadn't found that, uh, in the darkness before or looking around. That's the piece of gut I've been looking for. Okay. Got some sticks just for spares. Um, add. Okay. Put that out. So I'll just do the whole two liters. All right, and we'll go start getting through some of the mankiest meat that we have. For some reason, I had an optical illusion there. I thought there was something over there, but it was just a rock. Gamey rabbit raw. Oh, hang on. I was trying to look at the percentage, and I got out for it. So, moldy, gamey, moldy, moldy venison. There's some rancid wolf meat. Maybe we'll just cook it up for the uh, experience. Too heavy. Yeah, I think we've got too many pieces of meat. We'll cook up all this little stuff first. Still would have been faster uh, to drop it on the ground, but oh well. I'm committed to the cause now. So I have. Look at that bit. I've got a couple of bits on me. 22, 14, and 40. I'll tell you what. We'll just eat that once right off the get go. Um, too far. 28 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minutes, blah, blah. Water's still going to be a while. So I'm kind of going for the well-fed bonus because we've got so much meat out there. Uh, may or may not be a mistake. Do I have any pieces left? Now one more. Okay. Let's go get a couple of the worst pieces of the moose meat. Which I think is... 61, I think these were 61s as well. <coughs> 14 minutes, 4 minutes, so... fill up on that. Might have a tiny bit left, not sure. It's a one kilogram piece. It's a one kilogram. Ah, uh, no, that was less. So that's gonna, you know, kill my, uh, my timing. Get all these. Alright. Make a cook pile out here. I need to drop something. Yeah, I might have won too many. We still have that pot of water on the go. Twenty minutes. 
tell you what. Makes me slightly sad seeing that they're sitting on the ground. Yeah, I really thought there would be a, a pot here you could drag around, but doesn't seem to be the case. Twelve minutes. Three hours on that. Three of them are in sync. Now will that drop the raw one? It will. So they're all out of whack now. Now, what I really should do is make a water pile. Somewhere I'm going to be able to find it easily so I'm kind of hoping on this shelf by the door I'm only, it's only one extra liter it's not really the makings of much of a uh, collection doing that time well I tell you what that'll come in handy I can't read during this yeah that eight minute one will burn these ones will be okay oh no that one 30 minute ones once they're done what if I get them all back in sync Taking that one off. I can probably wait the amount of the longest, and they won't have burnt off in that time. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay. Oops, don't do that. Wrong button. I think I'm only going to cook up. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Five more. The rest can stay raw. Because it will get better condition once we cook it back. Okay. Let's get that in sync too. So. Too much stuff to carry. No, I didn't check the weights, so I might have made that mistake of uh, having one piece out of weight, which would be... Okay, so two of them should still let me read for an hour. If I can find the damn book. Should all be about done. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Nine minutes. Let's do another leader. This much moose meat should see us should see us through for a few days. We're doing the full starvation exploit. We'd even do a little bit more. Tell you what, for the cooking skill. Add a little bit more wood to this fire, and uh, we'll just 
Let's cook the the wolf up. Should be able to read for an hour. Okay, not bad. Twenty minutes left. Take that pot back. Now how are we off for torches? I mean we Okay, we'll, we'll take a we'll take a gamble at getting a good torch. Yeah, that's fairly ordinary. So what are we? We're in the afternoon now, and it still sounds pretty lame out there. Now we're heavy in sloshing because of five liters of water. Drink a little bit of it now. Doesn't look like any of my snares have gone off over there, which is fine. We don't really need it for the food. Wolves are not back yet. The day is turning out to be reasonably fine. We'll put some water away. Close, close from the deer hide. Um, so that'll have one whole extra day, I think. Okay. What else can we do? What else can we do outside? Only a couple of hours of light left. Oops, I'm going to stump. I wonder if we leave this area a little bit and come back if the wolves uh, respawn or not. Wait, as I thought I would. Definitely have no decoys. Great. I'm not going to get much in before it. It's uh, dark and we have to start to come back. But. Let's go see what's going on down at the lake. Getting some height to I don't see any wolves or bear. Doesn't really mean a lot. Okay, so there's a couple 
the cattails here, I'll just grab. I might have to drop some gear. Not that we need the food. But non smelly travelling food. Always welcome. There's a little piece there that I didn't... Never felt so cold in my life. Here. Well, just get my emergency flare out. Sure, if the wolves come this side or not. Oh, deer just went running over there, which makes me think the bear. Sounds like a bear. Sounds a lot like a bear. Well, that's not going to do us any good. Bringing a flare to a bear fight. Oh, we will be heavy. Any coal for me? No. I think I'm one, one arrow down after shooting the moose. So I think it Got dropped it. it over in that back area. So we can have a little bit of an adventure to go and find that. Now, do I want to stick an arrow in the bear? To get an extra bear hide. I don't know if I do. I haven't had much luck with them this run. We need to have some adventures. I can't imagine. Oh, that was a very cut off bear noise. Um, you know what? We'll let him just go about his day. We have a bear coat. We don't need. We don't need a bear sleeping bag. Not really. I mean, we will need another bear skin at some point to repair our coat. But. We'll have opportunities. Probably regret that later. He sounds loud on the other side of that, doesn't he? He can get up there and probably not. Kind of low. All right. So yeah, we'll have a quick hunt around up here. Just have a quick look for the um. Let's 
step over this log? No, we cannot step over that log. Right. Tell you what, there must be a wind trigger as soon as you come back through. Far out. I get a little bit of wind shelter here, just for a second. No. cracking kind of noises. Uh, the moose did run around back up here a little. I took my arrow with him. <laughs> I think he also ran around up here. Can I climb up this? Sort of. In the same way that the wolf ran up here and uh, lost my arrow, I wonder if the moose did the same. No. I'll well, we'll go check where we butchered the guy in case it's surfaced here. Well, I guess I get that piece of reclaimed. And I'll have a little hunt around where we had shot at him. Because I had thought he'd just taken off with it, but there's a chance it was just embedded in the ground or something. here when I first shot at him. I thought he ran off with one on his, one on his foot. He ran off that way. Oh, yeah. I'm letting it get the better of us. We have more we can craft. Pedantic, I guess. What's that? No, it's a log. things a bit soon so I guess we'll just stand by the door
read an error of that before it gets dark. Can we get another hour in? Yes, we can. So one hour left on that. The crappy torches apart for the weight saving. Probably should have just left them, most of them, back at the uh, railroad. We've got cans we don't really need. I'm just going to back over here. Somewhere on the ground is that, can is that uh, canister. That one. That's the one. I'm just going to put things in here that I don't particularly need. of cedar. Alright, so the firewood is somewhere over here. So we're going to get a bit heavier when we have our clothing. So we've got, we've got nearly three kilos of food as well. or 1.3 kilos of water and 1.1 kilos of cattails. Alright. But I would suspect that we're heading towards a well-fed bonus sometime soon. I'm not really tired enough. Yeah, I'm trying to align myself where the door is. Uh, curious about how much wear and tear. I'm putting a fair bit of wear and tear into that bedroll by sleeping in it. And I could be sleeping somewhat upstairs if I can find my way in the dark. You know what? I'm actually just going to sacrifice a match. No, nope, that's a curtain. I did not end up being anywhere near where I thought I was. I was trying to be over here in the dark. Now, any of these beds particularly better at Rest and recovery. And I think this is one of the better beds. Now I wonder. I can't break that down in the dark, can I? A lot of planks in here, hey? Now, I was just here next to a bed. There's the bed. Just chuck sharpen or two. We have more wet stones than this. Um, they're mainly um, vacuum broken railroad. I don't know if I've got any others stashed. Might be something that um notes. Hmm. Did I bring them with me or did I leave three wet stones there in concert? Alright. A black bear hide, hey? In, in the fishing village. 
What does that hold? Does that hold out to be true? Four bears killed. Two of them went into my jacket, so is there another hide? Or did that disappear and get killed in the world and I never found it? That's probably what happened. So I didn't find... Oh, I think I remember not finding one somewhere in the backwoods of uh, Desolation. Not Desolation Point. Coastal Highway. Alright. Are we tired enough yet? I don't really want to sprint around the house because it's dark and I'll get lost. But it's late enough in the night now, at least it'll be hopefully light. Oh, I can see a tiny bit in this room. Alright. day. Surprise. Okay. Okay, so let's investigate. Oh, so close. That one's cured. 5%, what's that? Basically a quarter of a day. So we got to wait until probably the evening till that one's done. And the guts is uh, basically end of the day. So I can't make those yet. And those are tomorrow. So damn, it's a perfect day to be inside crafting things. But not according to, um, not according to uh, the weather. Maybe I didn't repair this. So let's just chuck a repair in. I need to find food. Okay, so we have 100% bedroll now. Well, that's good. Find some food. Where will we find some food? Oh, hey. It's a whole bunch of food. Um, surely some crappy food still. What have we got? It's all moose. Moose, moose. Oh, I thought there was maybe... The muzzle just fill up. Drop that again. So it doesn't look like the wolves are back yet. No. What affliction are we... Has that always been there since we've had the frostbite? don't pay attention to that. I'll check back on the other videos. There's usually something affecting me, so I'm usually not that bothered. Um, I could like, harvest things like that, but to what end? That just a tiny bit in case can't feel my hands. Uh, it's not broken. I thought maybe that one was maybe triggered. No, can't make more because we don't have extra guts yet. Not that we need any more rabbits. Uh, I guess I've been outside long enough to get a little bit cold and try and help with the. Having fever that'll eventually happen. So we can go inside, read a book. Read our book for one hour. Okay. Uh, it was in this one. And then we'll go chuck it by the fire pile. 
Okay. So we did get a little skill for that. You live in there. So let's check out our skills. So yeah. That is a big distance to make up. From four to five. That's a lot of cooking. That goes into that. Um, mending is actually quite low, really, because it's all just crafted stuff. And that doesn't bode well for when we try and repair like our actual stuff. Now, I don't actually have any any cured guts on me yet. There's one almost ready to go. Of those secured. Ah, oh, so close. What can we do? Um, let's just go on a stick run. We're warm now. Just looking out for the uh. Return of the wolves, which absolutely will happen any day now, I'm guessing. There's a lot of reishis, and I'm not, not really desperate for them, to be honest. I mean, I could be making up, you know, warming teas on a day like this when it's obviously a mag lens. I could spend more time outside. Uh, what do we actually have in the way of 11 sticks? Which isn't enough to get over minus 26. Like what do, how much do we have on us in terms of... Oh, we've only got two crafted up. Alright, we'll harvest some. It'll give us something to do while we wait for hides. Can't feel my feet. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in any of my other videos, but yeah, apologies if the way I whip pan around to look through the world is a, a bit disorienting for everyone. It's a bit of a holdover from, you know, playing first person shooters and always just checking, checking your sight lines on the side. Because, um, I tend to get paranoid and I like to know where everything is, so I tend to just like whip really quickly. It's like I almost can't not do it. Alright. So let's let's just see if we're lucky enough. Still 97 cured. 99. Wasn't enough time outside. So three, that's like this end of the day. Even that still. Yeah. It's ambitious to think it would be today. Alright, so let's go back in here. We will... Craft up a few of these. Drink in a second. Revisit the water stash. Okay. So we've got five of those done. Probably could be making some more warming teas to travel on. 
Alright. Warm enough to jump back outside. Now, yeah. I've been putting off actually putting that rope out. Because I really don't think I'd ever use it to climb back up. Um. Need that either. But I mean, it'd be something to do at least. It sticks over here. Oh, hey. What happens if you climb up here? Not a lot. Very interesting way to uh, lose some following walls. haven't hit any uh, good uh, stick spawns, have I? It's all the larger format sticks. I don't think I'm really in the desperate times to chop out limbs. We're going to be back in that area. I was going to try and maybe do a Maglin fire, but I think that's now a um. Yeah, it's a fog day. Just thinking of making some more water. My fingers ah. feel numb. Sticks have been waiting here for me to collect them before they spawn everywhere else. Calm and foggy. Something's gotta go. Um. Could have continued further that way in the fog. I'll tell you what, we'll take a bit of damage and too cold to think. Break up a few of these. It doesn't really got terribly foggy. bother dropping 22 sticks. Well, let's drop you know, 15 or 16 of them. One cured gut, two cured hide. So close. Guess we leave them there just a little bit longer. Blank lumberjacking upstairs.
Okay. Still sitting there. Poke my head over the edge of here. Take my finger off the key so I don't accidentally launch over. Try and see if I could see the bear. Nothing to see. You know, you kind of a. Oh, I hear the bear now. Now I hear him. It's coming around that corner. Nothing we can do about him now. I really want his new pair of pants. I'm expecting to see just a Just bark at me. I at least expect it. What a waste of a day this has been. You the small piece that I dropped. Oh. Oops, that's not what I intended. actually gotten ambitious. Well, by ambitious I mean bored enough. Bored enough to put the heavy rope out. Oh, it's only a minus eight degree day. Six of its wind chill. That's we need to find some place to escape yeah, this cold. As good as it gets. Still here and wandering around over there. Perfectly good stone. Up again. I need that later. Well, it wasn't enough to attract his attention. No, I just thought I caught a glimpse of him for a second there. As Turkey said, you got a big three ton giant you know, beast managing to hide behind smallest lumps in the ground. 
He's over there. Well, unless he's coming from the other way. Well, that's a deer. It still sound like he's out that way. coming from over there. The sound is hard to pinpoint. Oh! He just popped straight into existence. Did anyone else see that? Ah, teleporting bear. The sound preceded him. Well. Cold enough mucking around out here just trying to do some nature watching. That is... Oh, that's not what I intended to do. To hide on that and that's going to be nearly ruined so that is still a piece of bait I intended it to be. Alright, so this has worked out to be a reasonably dull episode. And for that you have my sincerest apologies. Okay. Um, all three of those are now cured but the guts is not. So that will be a thing for the morning. Alright. Didn't really have many adventures in this episode. We might draw it to a close now. Uh, it's coming up on the hour. Um, all we did was gather sticks and eat food. We did a little bit of a cook-up. That's what we did. Alright, well, thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Alright, bye.